This is a pre-tutorial video on chi-squared tests for the MED1022 Population Health Tutorial on Biostatistics. The question that this example on chi-squared tests and odds ratio asks is what demographic factors influence whether women who have had a mastectomy as part of their breast cancer treatment undergo a breast reconstruction within two years of diagnosis. So this is what the study design was. Women were diagnosed with breast cancer between June 2004 and December 2006. They completed an enrolment questionnaire within a year of their diagnosis and they were then followed up with further questionnaires every year for five years. This particular analysis is for women who had a one-sided mastectomy and were free from active disease or a recurrence up until the second follow-up questionnaire that was roughly 2.8 years after their diagnosis. This research has been published by Robin Bell in the Breast Journal. So here is some modified output from SPSS. You've got a two by two table and you've got the chi-squared test. There's also a bar graph for anyone who likes to see data visually instead of in a table. As you can see, for women living in the country area, 18% had a breast reconstruction compared with 81-82% living in metro areas. The p-value is less than 0 0.001, so this is statistically significant. You'll learn more about p-values in the actual biostatistics tutorial. Here's another example. Does having health insurance affect whether you have a breast reconstruction within 1.8 years after diagnosis? So there's the 2x2 two two table of breast reconstruction and health insurance. There's the chi-squared tests, p-value and actual chi-squared value. And there's the graph. Of people who had a breast reconstruction, 82% had health insurance, 18.3% did not. Compare that to people who didn't have a breast reconstruction, when 56% had health insurance and 44% did not. Overall, 62% had health insurance. So a chi-squared test compares two categorical variables. Now, if you're interested, here's the theory behind a chi-squared test. A chi-squared test establishes whether there's an association between the categorical variable exposure and outcome or not. The null hypothesis is that there's no association between the exposure and the outcome. So in this case, there's no association between the exposure of living in the country and the outcome of having a breast reconstruction. The alternative hypothesis is that there is an association between the outcome and exposure. So there is an association between your location of residence metro or country and outcome of breast reconstruction. The stats behind the chi-squared test compares what's called the observed frequency or actual frequency to the, the expected frequency which is the predicted frequency which is calculated using the formula. Expected is row total times column total divided by overall total. That basically means what number 
of people did we expect would live in the country area and have a breast reconstruction if there is no effect between these two variables? The chi-squared value can either be calculated manually or obtained from a statistics package like SPSS or Stata. The p-value is calculated from the chi-squared value and the chi-squared value is the sum of all observed minus expected squared divided by expected column values. So as you can see, I've calculated the expected total for each cell. 37, nearly 38 people were expected to live in the country and have a reconstruction. 111 people who are expected to live in the country and not have a reconstruction. So in the country reconstruction cell, you've got the row total of 149, the column total of 93, and the overall or grand total of 366. If you look at the top of this slide, you can see the observed frequencies, 17, 132, 76, and 141 respectively. You can also see the expected frequency, nearly 38, 111, 55, and nearly 162. Then using the chi-squared formula, I can plug the numbers of the observed and expected numbers into the formula. As you can see, the sum of O minus E squared on E is, a, you have to do that for each particular combination of cells. After calculating it, you get 25.99. This is the same value as was obtained by SPSS. The p-value is less than 0 0.001. So this is the end of the chi-squared tests pre-tutorial video. We don't expect you to calculate any of the chi-squared tests. We only expect you to be able to interpret the results in tables. That's why we've got this video as a, this material is a video. So people who are interested can watch it and people who aren't don't have to. If you've got any questions about the chi-squared tests, talk to your tutor while you're doing the activity interpreting chi-squared tests from the tables in class.